project. But really what we're going to be looking for tonight is the things that APD does well and the things that APD can improve upon. And that's why we need your support and your input on this plan. If any of you have been in any type of community meeting with me, you know one of the things that I constantly preach is community participation. We need your input. We need your thoughts. We need your ideas in order for us to be a successful agency. And that's why we're, we're here tonight. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy uh, to see so many faces. I'm glad, glad you're here and coming out to help us with this process. And at this time, I'd like to introduce uh, the two consultants that have been, been brought in to, to assist us uh, with this project. If you know anything about, about law enforcement in North Carolina and really around the country, these two names are, are uh, very, very qualified individuals uh, in the law enforcement field. And I'll start with Chief Harry Dolan. Chief Dolan is a retired chief with the Raleigh uh, Police Department. Uh, he's also served as chief of police in Grand Rapids and also Lumberton, North Carolina. He's from Buncombe County. He started his law enforcement career here in Buncombe County, and, and he'll tell you a little bit more about that. But he doesn't like me to say this, but Chief Dolan is a legend in the law enforcement community across, across the state and across the country. He tra travels all over the country, assisting agencies move forward, deal with different situations, uh, and we're very, very fortunate to, to have him here. I was able to visit the Raleigh Police Department before he left and really was able to see some of the exciting things that he, he was doing there in Raleigh during his tenure. So we're, again, we're very fortunate to have him. We also have Chief Willie Williams. Chief Williams is another legend in North Carolina as a uh, law enforcement profession. He's uh, the retired chief of Wilson, North Carolina, and also Lumberton, uh, North Central, uh, University, uh, Central, Central University. He was also chief there. So again, we're very honored to have these information, uh, these individuals here uh, this afternoon. Uh, we want your candor, we want your information, we want your input, because this is what's going to help us guide our police department. And one of the things that I've told our officers is, at the end of the day, when this process is completed, this is not the William Anderson plan. This is not the command staff plan. This is gonna be the Asheville Police Department plan, where we gather input from every single member of our organization and the community. And that's, that's very, very important in developing this plan. So again, thanks for coming out. We're glad you're here. And I'll turn it over to Chief Dolan. Well, thank you, Chief. That's very kind of you. And you stop calling us legends. Yeah. 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 Uh, now, Willie Williams is a legend. No, no. Yes, he is. He just told me. I was bragging. You know, I said I've been married 33 years. He said that's very good. Harry, let me know when you get closer because I've been married 50. So he's been married 50 years. Uh, and then right after this meeting, near the end, he's going to uh, go uh, meet his bride. Uh, I did want to just give you a little background. Thank you, Chief. Uh, I started out as a deputy sheriff in Buckland County in 1980. I had graduated from Western Carolina University. I was a catamount. Uh, I have a family that lives in Asheville, so it's always fun uh, to be in Asheville. I come back there quite often. Uh, we have been spending some time with the men and women of the Asheville Police Department. And I want to bring you some just wonderful uh, pride that we share, uh, Chief Williams and I, with these men and women. They are extraordinarily proud of the service. They're in a calling, and they're giving us great information about what the department does well. And one of those, of course, is the extraordinarily proud history of community policing that APD has. Uh, why do I know that? Because when I was in Lumberton, and I worked for the state of North Carolina for a few years, and Asheville was truly one of the pioneering agencies when it comes to their decentralization efforts, their community officers, and bike patrols, and problem-solving initiatives. So I've, I've been an uh, admirer from uh, afar. Uh, but having an opportunity now to spend time with the police department on where are we going to be over the next few years? And I'm going to talk very little today, and, and, and the chief will tell you that, because what we really need is you today. And this is what we've told the police department, and we're up to about 200 members, a civilian, I believe, chief. Uh, chief has met me meeting for meeting. Thank you, sir. We, come in and we tell everybody the same thing. We need to know what do we do well as a department? What, is, what are we doing well? Well, why do you ask that? Well, let's get a little positive for a minute and let's make sure we sustain what we're doing well and we continue to uh, put that on the forefront. But really striking and most important, over the next three years, 
where do we need to place our focus, our attention? And the reason that that's important is we don't want to go around year after year talking about the things that we could have, would have, should have. If we can put it in a business plan over the next three years, and we both learned this in our career, and when you're talking to a governing body, it's the city of Asheville, and you've got a, a mayor, and you've got a council that are business oriented, the city's a, a large business, well, what are, how are we going to accomplish our goals? You know, I often say that, you know, when you see an incredible park opening, and people say, wow, look at that, they've got a park. Well, a park started in planning years before that. There's land acquisition, there's funding, there's bonds, and then what you're seeing at the end is the end result of a lot of work. Well, that's what we're wanting to do with the strategic plan. So as we move forward as a department, uh, as we look at what goals we should have, we need your input. So similar to the officers, I'm going to ask you to do something very fundamental. Uh, and I'm going to ask you to do the work. And why do I think this is so important? This has been a strategy employed in Raleigh and Grand Rapids in my career that has always paid great dividends because I believe in something. And this is with somebody who was raised by police officers, who was third generation. Uh, I've often uh, said that I think I have a ge genetic predisposition to be a police officer because it's, it's in my family. But what I have found is where there's crime, where there's quality of life issues, there's one group of people that know best where the resources should be applied, and that's the community. If there are issues, and if there's a way to sustain a good, healthy quality of life, here's where the issues are. I also know this, you know, it's like Emerson would say uh, to his old friend as they travel through the, the years of age, what has become clearer to you since last you met? You know, what's become clearer to me since last uh, I met with many, many young people when I started policing is that our young people matter most. Uh, where are they graduating from high school? Are our children given the resources and the, uh, the outliers that they need? I started realizing that, and no one educated me more about that than my own community. And that's what tonight's about. And this is what the chief wants, and he wants it from his officers, he wants his candor. Tell us what the issues are. Let's move forward over the next three years. So there'll be two questions. One question, we're going to ask you to write down, and we're going to be using a technique called, uh, what we like to refer to professionally as the Pareto technique, because if we look at, say there's to be round numbers, say there's 40 people here. There could be, if everyone has two issues to discuss, there could be 80. But what we realize is how do we get to the core of the issue? How do we do that? We use the Pareto technique to get it together. We get people's thoughts and brainstorming, so we start off with the first question on one side of a piece of paper. What are the top two strategies, initiatives, what are the top two things you say the APD does well? In other words, Chief Anderson, keep doing this. This is what they do well. And this is a message that goes to the men and women, those very proud men and women in the police department. Here's what you do well, please continue doing that. They need to hear that, they need to know that. And so we'll put those on our flip charts. We're gonna have some people that are gonna help facilitate. So if we have five people, 10 people in a group, We'll take from that group of maybe 10, we'll put maybe three or four top considerations on that chart. With me so far, we start off with two, and we have 10 people, could be 20, and we're gonna put four or five on that chart. What, what, why are we doing that? We're getting to the core of the priority. Then the heavy lifting will begin. The second part will be, what are the top two strategies that the APD can launch, or areas of focus that they should pay keen attention to over the next three years that will pay the greatest dividends to our community? Those are the two questions. But on the first piece of paper, what are the top two issues that we do very well as a department? If you'll allow me to say we, Chief, and I've been, you've been allowing me to do that. Uh, my mother was, my mother-in-law was a librarian in the Asheville City School, so I can do that 20, uh, 30 years. Uh, what do we do well on one page? On the back side, what are the top two strategies you would have the department focus on? And why it's important uh, that everyone do this and that they do it individually, because when you go into a group, we want people committed to their thoughts. And when you brainstorm, you have that information right in front of you that's so that everyone's thought is important, everyone's point is important. And then once we get all those issues out and everyone's had their time to talk about those in the group, your facilitator will help you, your scribe, in putting what you think are maybe the top two or three. So if you're with me for a moment, if you have 10 people, you could have 20 issues, <coughs> narrow those down with good discussion over about 20 minutes, and then you put on the board what you think are the top two or three. What a message that sends, because it comes from a great discussion and its priorities. 
this is exactly what your uh, members of the police department are doing over the last week. And we have got a great strategy. We're going to have great ideas for, for the future. But how can you build a strategic plan without your priorities? That's what tonight's about. So please, with you, when we break into groups, and I think we'll do uh, five groups. Uh, so as we do five groups, we'll sound off one through five. Everyone will get a piece of paper and a pen. And in your own time, in your own time, just take a few moments before we even get up out of our chairs and get into our groups. Let's write that information down so that it's on your mind and you're committed to it. So Janet, if you'll make sure that everybody has those papers, if you'll hand that out, we're going to first give you about five minutes to have your thoughts on your paper, your notes. These are your. This is what you're going into the group work with. And by the way, some very good news. Can I give you this? And I've got to tell you this. We're looking at an hour. How's that? Your time is too precious. You are the, you're the choir. You're the people that came out here to give us information. We hope to not take more than an hour of your time. How's that? that uh, thank you. And that's what we're going to work on. Okay? But if you'll take these notes, this is for you. If you'll write those, and we'll, we'll take a moment, and then we'll put everybody in groups. <laughs> 